What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. So a lot of people ask me to do these videos where if you're not spinning for the legends or the epic players to do alternative players that you can try out whether you want to try them out first and see how they play for your squad before you spin to try and get the ultimate version of this player or you just want to just skip the spins altogether and stay free to play but you want to have that similar experience of having somebody that plays extremely similar to Dennis Burkamp, Riziki or Vieira. Now I will say this is probably one of the hardest uh, comparison or alternative videos to do because of the sheer uniqueness of these cards, right? Riziki, not so much. He's kind of like your average AMF. There's a lot of players like him. Obviously, if you've got Messi, Messi's more of a shooter. If you have got somebody like Bernardo Silva, he's kind of more about speed and passing, so he's kind of similar. The thing I like about Riziki is he can play a very direct style of football, but also is very comfortable on the ball with that tight possession, right? So we are going to take a look at all these players maxed out, and then we are going to take a look at their alternatives that I would pair up with these that, you know, go very, very similar to the cards. But Patrick Vieira and Dennis Burkamp, Dennis Burkamp especially, is a very unique card stat wise right a lot of the players will still play similar on the pitch depending on your play style but the fact that Patrick Vieira can have defense stats pretty much all in the 90s and his speed and acceleration 80 and 80 with physical contact he's got tight possession at 84 extremely unique ca card and then on top of that he also has the height and the strength and the weight to be able to dominate in midfield now we are going to start with Rosicki's alternative which is Angel De Maria now De Maria lads is going to be very similar in a lot of ways right number one they pretty much have identical player skills De Maria is one of the only players that has like all of those player skills that Riziki has. So first time shot, one touch pass, true pass and weighted pass. He also has cut behind and turn. He also has early crosser. Um, and he also has pinpoint crossing, which Riziki doesn't have because De Maria is more of a winger. But if you play De Maria as an AMF, similar height, similar weight, similar play style, similar movement, similar motion. I have tested out De Maria a lot. He's an absolute beast of a player. I actually have a love-hate relationship with him, but he, he is a really good AMF if you don't have your Neymars or your Messi's and you don't play that way. Also, with these standard cards, make sure to remember your team play style. That's going to be something to keep a track of as well. If you had the other version of De Maria, you don't need to spin for a Ziki, lads. Trust me, he is absolutely insane. I never picked up this Argentinian version of him and I do regret it. But um, we will move on. So Dennis Burkamp is a harder one, right? So we have two options for Burkamp. We won't spend too long in the second option, but the first option is Oyarzabal. So this guy is a, traditionally a creative playmaker as well as his play style. Dennis Burkamp is not a deep line forward. He is actually a creative playmaker. So he is suited to an AMF type role, even though he's as, at an SS. Now, this guy has got identical player skills, pretty much identical player skills to Burkamp. He's got very similar pace, very similar height, weight, movement style, the same as Rosicki. I mean, there's a lot of research gone into these players. He does play extremely like Burkamp, except he doesn't have that top class finishing that Burkamp can have if you train him up, right? But depending on how you train him up, he also has AI playing style of amazing run, which is what kind of sets a lot of the runs that Burkamp has. So if you are thinking of spinning for Burkamp, you want to try somebody similar to play with. Burkamp is an extremely difficult player to play with because he's not fast. But this guy's offensive awareness does take a bit of a hit compared to Burkamp's. And also his finishing is only at 80. But everything else, tight possession, everything else is only two or three points below Burkamp's. And he has a very similar style. If you're looking for a more traditional kind of finisher, Lacazette is probably a good option as well. He's a deep line forward. He's more of an advanced player. He does have similar um, stats to him. But I definitely, if you're looking for a really budget option, that is who I would go with. But it's, it's a very hard comparison. His Arsenal version is obviously quite good as well because he's got that higher ball control and this player of the week version has got the ball control maxed out as well so just something to keep in mind but it's a hard one Burkamp is an extremely unique player one of the most unique players in the game now last but not least we have Patrick Vieira and that's probably why you're watching this video and I'm gonna just cut to it lads I don't want to bullshit you Patrick Vieira, there isn't anyone that truly compares to this box-to-box -box beast, right? Obviously, you've got his other cards that are either Destroyer or box-to-box, -box, but there's nobody that compares to him, right? Stat-wise, we can get a player that will play extremely similar to Patrick Vieira, and we can also get the stats very similar and that they compare well. But there's going to be nobody that kind of steps up to the mark to be a very, very good alternative to Vieira because he's just so unique. I'm talking standard players now. We're talking players for GP. You look at his defensive awareness, his tackling, his aggression, his engagement, 
and also the speed acceleration, the tight possession, the 81 low pass, the 86 physical contact. Now we do have Barella, right? A lot of people have talked to me about Barella. Barella has got very similar player skills. He's got interception, he's got sliding tackle, fighting spirit. He's also got one touch pass and long range shooting. So he is more of a complete center midfielder rather than a kind of a DMF type player. Um, he has unwavering form. He's usually up with the live update rating as well because he does be bossing it in the Serie A. But his height is a massive concern if you are trying to compare him with Patrick Vieira. Kante is another similar player, but I think Barella just with that unwavering form. Now, when we max him out, right, we do actually get the defensive stats extremely similar to Patrick Vieira. So his AI and the way he handles on the pitch will be very similar to Vieira. The problem is his height, man. I mean, he's way, way, way smaller than Vieira. So he's not going to have that physical contact, which is way down. He's not going to have header, which is way down. So you do need to kind of have somebody maybe like Fabinho in if you are looking for a similar player to Vieira in terms of stature, in terms of movement. Now, Fabinho has got 80 speed but 70 acceleration. I wouldn't worry too much about the acceleration because you're going to be playing Fabinho in a slightly more ret retracted role. But defensively, it's very similar as well as Vieira um, because Vieira obviously is going to be able to cover so much ground. So that is it, lads. It's a very difficult one. I've obviously tried my best. I think De Maria shapes up very, very well and I think Barella does as well. Um, but it's just that there's such unique players with their body type, their, their weight, their speed, their strength and their stats So and their player skills. So let me know if you guys are going to spin or skip these legends and I will talk to you later. Don't forget to check out my review and training guide of the three Arsenal legends if you're lucky enough to get them as well. I did get Riziki. If you haven't checked out that video, make sure and check that out as well. Until next time, lads. Peace.